So how is the wine market faring now, especially in Hong Kong and China, seen as the real game changer? Let's talk more to Simon Tam of Christie's China. So you just came off a big auction over in Hong Kong. How did that go? Well, it was our first uh, auction for the year, yeah. and uh, we raised over $4.2 million uh, US, mm. and we were 96% sold. Wow. And that, you know, over a large number of different lots from represented from all different countries, Italy, France, of course, and uh, of course, including some American wines as well. So where do we stand in light of the fact that back at the height of the wine bubble era of uh, mid-2011, a box, a case of 2008 Lafitte went as high as 20,000 US dollars. You know, it's, uh, it changes and this is where, what wine is all about. It's all about trends and it's, all, it's cyclical. And uh, we see highs and lows uh, and that, that is just a fact of life because tastes change. Right. Our tastes change. And what is trendy one day, let's say flare trousers, will be up the next. Recent trends indicate that uh, people are increasingly favoring uh, more Burgundy than Bordeaux. Which ones are you looking at? Yeah. Well, at the moment, the, the actual absolute crown jewels are the Domaine de la Romani Conti wines mm. and even more scarce Henri Jair wines. And these, when they are, appear in our auctions or any auction for them, I tell you, they just get eagerly snapped up very, very quickly. But are the price points and valuations really high as they used to be before the big crash in 2011? Well, the prices, you know, I think it's reaching a very sensible place you know reflects the wine scarcity the limited production of course how beautiful they taste so I think that is a, a very very good thing and it brings a bit of stability to the market given the crackdown corruption crackdown happening in mainland China do you actually think that wine market will actually reach the highs that it did it's taken a long time for the delicious West to find the thirsty East <laughs> uh, and it's it's here to stay you know they are our friends our clients wine lovers they drink the most humble wine or the most delicious and red vintages with the daily food. How important is the number that you often see? For instance, case in point, you have Chateau Neuf du Pape, which was an unknown name, and then a big critic comes in, gives it a big number, and then all of a sudden, its prices shot up. I think uh, points are definitely important because it sends a, it's a, it's a guidance system. Uh, and I think what ultimately is really important is what we can taste and having the confidence to know what you like and what you don't like or the right location for which, which particular bottle is most important. Well, Simon, thank you very much for sharing your insights in the wine industry. Really appreciate it.